In this video, we'll cover the steps to take to financial freedom. Watch until the end for a foolproof formula on how to become a millionaire. We've all heard the saying, money can't buy you happiness, but not having money to buy food, warmth and basic necessities can make you very unhappy. If the bills seem endless and you're barely left with much money after paying the bills, life can start to feel a little miserable. We all know that feeling too well. Whilst being rich doesn't mean you'll be happy in every sphere of your life, it can make daily living much easier. But what if you didn't have to worry so much about the bills? What if you had the freedom to make decisions without worrying about the financial consequences of your choices? Financial freedom means different things to different people. To some, financial freedom means being able to live the life you want without worrying about money. Others tie financial freedom to being able to retire early. Imagine not worrying about money. It can be done, but it won't happen overnight. You need a pragmatic plan to achieve a realistic degree of financial freedom. What does financial freedom mean to you? Achieving financial freedom will be difficult if you don't define what financial freedom means to you. Set specific and time-bound goals in line with your definition and put this plan into place. As Dave Ramsey says, personal finance is 80% behavior and only 20% knowledge. You must change your behavior and put these simple action steps into place or you will never achieve financial freedom. Let's look at what they are. First, save an emergency fund. The easiest and hardest step to take is the first. Start by saving an emergency fund. Keep it somewhere easily accessible. Having this in place takes off the pressure for any of life's misdemeanors. It will start to have a great psychological impact that now you're in control and gives you room to breathe financially. Pay off your debts. This is an obvious one, but having monthly commitments to debt restricts your monthly capacity to save. There are two ways you can do this. You can start by paying off the debt with the highest interest rate first. This practically makes sense, but if we're gonna follow Dave Ramsey's psychological strategy of feeling in control, then the snowball strategy might be a more effective method. With the snowball strategy, start with your smallest debt first. Put all you can into paying off that debt, then move on to the next debt and put all you can into paying that debt off, and so on. Remember to continue to make the minimum payments on all your other debts. The small wins enable you to focus and feel like you're achieving your goal. Create a spreadsheet so you can see the impact you're making. And don't buy items or services you can't afford with a credit card. Debts limit your monthly income and paying off debt will cause an increase in cash flow each month. Create a life safety net. This is an extended emergency fund. Determine how much money you need, how much money you owe, and how much money you have. Make a list of all your assets, liabilities, and how much you earn. Your assets could include your savings, stocks, or properties you own. You can't attain financial freedom if you don't know your present financial situation. Knowing your present financial status will help you take the right steps towards achieving financial freedom. Create a budget for all your expenses and outline the amount you intend to spend on each expense. A budget will help you track your expenses and it will also help you identify when you are spending more than you ought to. List all your monthly expenses to give yourself an accurate financial overview of your expenditure. Then times it by six and 12, and this will give you an idea of how much money you need to survive for six to 12 months. Having between six to 12 months of your expenditure saved away gives you security. If you have between 15,000 and 25,000 pounds saved away and your car breaks down and you need 3,000 pounds to fix it, it's a nuisance repair bill. But if you're living hand to mouth with no emergency funds, it can be very difficult really stressful to find that money in a hurry and avoid getting into more debt. Having a financial safety net will also give you a realistic figure of how much money you'll need when you retire. Start a retirement fund. Everybody knows they should be doing this, but few people want to make the short-term sacrifice for the long-term gain. But this is where compound interest is your friend. One good way to achieve financial freedom in the long term is through investment. Some investments could be risky. For beginners, it's safer to engage in low-risk investments like gold and mutual funds. Money makes money when you invest. Investing is not a get-rich-quick scheme. You have to be in it for the long run. You need to invest for 15 to 25 years to really benefit from compound interest. And there will be economic bumps in the road, guaranteed. But sit tight and ride out those economic storms. For example, a Vanguard fund such as the S&P 500 has returned between 10 to 15% historically. Just investing 15% of your income can make you a millionaire. Building interest on interest is where we really start to build wealth. Invest just £100 a month from age 25 to 65. On an average return at 12%, that's £1,176,000. Boom. 
you're a millionaire. That is the easiest formula to become a millionaire. And £100 a month for most households on an average salary is not a huge monthly sacrifice. Obviously, investing is easier to do when we don't have debts to pay. Roth IRAs, 401k funds and tax-free ISAs are all legitimate tax-free ways of building our retirement fund. Maximise these. They are the formula to wealth. If you can increase your monthly contribution to £500 a month for 40 years, that's a total input of £240,000. That equates to a £5.8 million investment. All that from a £240,000 input. That's all growth tax-free. Attaining financial freedom will not happen overnight. It takes patience and consistency. Financial freedom is not about being rich. Financial freedom is being able to live life on your terms without worrying about your finances.